they took too long. They, uh, they had, it took them five days to get here. And I mean, it took five days for Biden to come here and he didn't think we were worth coming down to see him, us himself. He had to fly over on his way to Raleigh. Um, it's it's disgraceful. They tell us what we need instead of just instead of listening to us. There's people that have lost everything: their home, their everything that they priceless items that were thousands of dollars. And I'm not expecting her to give us thousands of dollars, but they can do more than that. I mean, it's I feel betrayed. Um, I feel like we're not worth it to them. But there's just a complete failure of weak leadership here in North Carolina, the federal government. And it takes my, my strong leadership in Florida to send us up here. If it wasn't for the Santa sending the state guard special missions unit up here, this never even would have happened. But there's just no support here. There's no leadership. Okay, enough already. Help the victims. That was North Carolina resident Jordan Lanning speaking to Jesse Waters, also John Howard with the Florida National Guard special missions unit. You just heard from them about their frustration over the Biden-Harris White House bad response to Hurricane Helene. Let's bring in National Border Patrol Council Vice President Chris Cabrera. Chris, thanks for your service to America. Okay, frustration <laughs> over prioritizing, you know, sending funds to illegal aliens over citizens with where lean victims are feeling abandoned. It's also border communities feeling abandoned, inner cities feeling abandoned by Biden Harris. What do you make of the spending of a billion dollars in FEMA funds on illegal aliens? Uh, you know, I'd like to say that that I'm shocked by it, but unfortunately, I'm not. Uh, I think this administration has their their priorities out of whack, and it's unfortunate when you have uh, people in in some of these states like North Carolina that are really suffering right now, and, and there's no money left uh, in the coffers for the United States citizen that's in need. Okay, so you know what it th the thing is th that they're spending FEMA funds on illegals. I mean, if you look at it this way, that's the you know FEMA is a disaster agency. Is the Biden-Harris White House admitting the border is a disaster? Yeah, you know, even if even if they were to admit it was a disaster, I mean, the, the FEMA funds should be the last funds to go to uh, to illegal aliens. That's for, for home, you know, disasters here that, you know, whether it's a hurricane or tornado or, or whatever the case may be, that, that those funds should be set aside just for American citizens. You know, Chris, this is a reality about the White House's open borders. About 13 million, including Godaways, we tracked about 1,700 terrorists at the, in between the ports of entry, at the, all the borders, caught. Um, you know, people have been, they've been leaving everyone else, all taxpayers on, the, on their own to deal with this and higher crime and higher taxes. We got a study showing the cost of legal immigration is about $150 billion annually. That means everybody's state and local taxes go up. Swing state voters and taxpayers in the swing states, they pay about $15 billion to this. I mean, the swing states have seen a major increase in illegal aliens since 2021. We're talking like in, in the triple digit increases. I mean, so when you see this, when you think of it this way, it's like a really, it's a chaos at the border, border but a free for all on the taxpayers inside each state. Yeah, you know, it, 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 de it defies uh, logic. I mean, it's, you know, the, the way this, this administration is, is thinking, it's just backward thinking all, all over the place. And uh, it's unfortunate that some people won't even wake up to see this and, uh, and they'll still vote uh, Democrat knowing that they're just, you know, giving our, our, our tax taxpayer dollars away. Chris Cabrera, thanks for your service working with the border to keep it safe. We appreciate you very much for joining us. Good to see you. Thank you.